see it. I That's see an it. Nest. There are birds over there. If you're seeing a hawk or a turkey and vulture, it's more like a V. So eagles are completely straight across. St. Patrick's County Park hosts a mini-series of science programs for girls in the 5th through 8th grades. Girls Ambitious About Learning Science, also called GALS, provides hands-on learning activities in science and research to encourage participation. With us being in St. Joseph County, we are really lucky because we actually have two watersheds. So today we actually brought in our augmented reality sandbox to talk about watersheds. And so utilizing uh, different components of STEM, such as technology and science and engineering, we are able to show these girls today how watersheds work. And so that kind of replicates kind of what we see here in St. Joe County because it's not all one flat piece of land. There's different elevations going on here. With the Sandbox, it's really cool utilizing a coding program in Linux on my laptop in combination with a projector and an Xbox 3D uh, 360 Connect camera. It's able to project a topographical map, so a map of different elevations inside of the Sandbox. And using all these wonderful colors and bright patterns, it's actually able to transform and move in real time as people like these girls today touch the sand. So the map changes as they move around the sand in the sandbox. And then when we do a rain simulation in there, it creates rain all over the sand in the sandbox. And so they're able to see that movement of water going from high places to low places, just like in a watershed. Meanwhile, you have to watch and as the worms come up, you just pull them and put them into your container. Ready? Yep, you can start. So we were looking at two things, life in bark. So looking at organisms that live in the bark and the animals that live within those uh, plants and fungi that live on the bark. And then we were also exploring earthworms that are in the soil and looking at their ecology. So looking at how they affect decomposition. And the way that we collect earthworms is we use hot mustard powder and we mix it with water and then we use um, like a metal container and then we pour about two liters of uh, that mustard solution in there and it irritates the skin of the earthworms. It doesn't kill them and so they come up to the surface so then you can collect them. So they can be small. Oh, we just wasted all of Where's that. Wait, wait, wait. 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 This is the head. And this is the tail. So earthworms are also involved in decomposition. So we were doing lots of collecting of worms, uh, millipedes, centipedes, and then looking at things that live in bark. Well, today we were sampling aquatic bugs or aquatic insects out at the ND Leaf uh, site at St. Pat's Park. And our um, hypothesis was that the two different water bodies we sampled would have different bugs in them. Sediments, that's what they eat. They eat the bacteria, actually, that live on those. It is the same thing we teach at Notre Dame. They get out with the same equipment. Uh, the boots may be a little big, but they're, they're, they're sampling the water in the same way, use the same techniques. And they really did a great job uh, picking and counting the bugs, just like our undergrads at Notre Dame. 82! Oh, it's a tie! Great job, you guys. Oh, they had a great time. Um, it wasn't really about the hypothesis. It was more about getting the experience of getting in the water, using the net, seeing that, you know, when you scoop into what looks like just mud, that when you lift that net out of the water, you see all these little squiggly insects moving around. And then we used some picking pans and they used forceps uh, to count the bugs. So we made it both a quantitative experience, but mostly just about knowing that that water body has a lot of life in it. We saw dragonflies, damselflies, mayflies, immature beetles. It was exciting to see just how much is out there. We've had a sort of cold spring, uh, and there was a lot of life out there. Oh, yeah. Let's take a group picture. Okay. Woo. And the most important thing is actually the curiosity and the observations that they're making and taking notes and just being more aware of um, the natural world and thinking about how organisms interact with each other. Um, and they just have a lot of fun exploring. So part of it is just letting them kind of play with what they're seeing. I just love the enthusiasm of getting the students in the field. Um, it's really, everyone's sort of got the same young at heart attitude about being out uh, in nature.